In order to find out how the EU and Africa can improve their cultural diplomacy, I spoke with activists in five countries. Cultures in Harmony has conducted projects in Tunisia every year since I founded the organization in 2005. One of the musicians that we brought there, Kimball Gallagher, founded his own organization, Tunisia 88, creating music clubs in schools. What I see now uh, as a logical operation for the EU to consider is to support the young local artists uh, because we see a lot of the high school students who have grown now and have started their own bands and their own musical projects, uh, whether as solo artists or as groups, uh, they lack uh, a lot of training in how to become uh, individual entities and a lot of uh, support to create networks with other artists. During the pandemic, Cultures in Harmony paid musicians from several countries to share their culture virtually. One of those musicians from the Congo has this to say. Artists from Europe, they have to make, a, to, to make an effort, you know, to approach the Congolese culture. Still talking about music, I've never seen an opera, for example. This kind of music Congolese don't, don't know. I'm convinced that uh, it's possible to organize festivals where you can find uh, Western countries' culture and Congolese culture. For example, to have a Congolese cultural center where people can go and see, follow the music of Congo, follow the movies uh, done by Congolese, because of war, you know, we have lost so many things about our culture. Belgians have taken nearly everything from us, you know, about our culture, about our tradition. You know, a good uh, uh, cultural di diplomacy will be to give back this to, co to Congo. Cultures in Harmony worked with local musicians and cultural dialogue groups in Cameroon in 2009 and 2013. One of our partners shares his thoughts. Bring back the statues, you know, so that we, we have a tradition. Having museums, theaters, and um, showrooms to showcase uh, 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 our culture and traditions, I think it will be benefit not only to Africa and Cameroon, but also to European Union, I want, why not America? But what we wish is that it should stop, that everything that comes out from the soil of Africa should be used to develop Africa. In 2021, Cultures in Harmony put together a video in which musicians from Mexico, the USA, Pakistan, and South Africa performed together. I asked Kamu, the wonderful violinist based in Durban, South Africa, for her ideas about the EU. When you interact with people, like, because they're in such a, like, first world environment, they're not really aware of, like, the African countries, like, where South Africa really is, which is weird because you think, like, they're so educated, you know. People, like, still don't know how developed South Africa is. And so they treat you a little differently as a result, you know. They have funny questions like, do you have like animals in your backyard still? Are there elephants roaming around? The activities would have to be centered around educating and showing like true South Africa. Because I think a lot of the times when like journalists come this side, um, in order to get funding and things like that, they'll really go into communities that are like impoverished. Cultures in Harmony has worked in Zimbabwe since 2006. In 2015, we helped the Revival Arts Trust Zimbabwe launch the Pfumbuza Arts Festival. I'm going to acknowledge uh, the following people. Uh, William Harvey of uh, Cultures in Harmony, uh, who's based in the United States of America. Uh, the support that he has given. Well, it was wonderful actually, uh, given that we were doing uh, a festival with very limited funds. I would say uh, we managed to pull off uh, a very good event. The turnout was good, the participation was also good uh, because uh, we had quite a few bands uh, 
coming to perform. It would be a very good initiative if everyone, especially from the grassroots, gets to benefit. But the problem is in Zimbabwe, they are not really focusing on, on grassroots uh, projects like Pumbuza Arts Festival. In 2015 in Zimbabwe, I conducted a historic performance in which Zimbabwe's most famous singer, Oliver Mutukudzi, sang my arrangements of his songs with the Music Camp Orchestra. Incredibly, this was the first time that a Zimbabwean orchestra had played music by a Black Zimbabwean composer. This Saturday, June 15th, 2024, at 8 p.m. in Blackmore's Music Zimmer, together with pianist Ilya Friedberg, I will share the violin piano version of one of those arrangements. The more that we can share African culture in Europe and European culture in Africa in a respectful spirit of cultural exchange, the deeper the relationship becomes.